Okay, so magandang araw sa lahat and welcome to our science class. So we're already in the third quarter and the focus of the third quarter is all about force, motion, and energy. Okay, so before we proceed with our uh, lesson for today, let us first answer this uh, game, which is known as the Poor Peaks One Word. So, you, can you guess what is uh, the answer for these uh, pictures? Okay, so if your guess is force, then you are correct. Okay, so today we're going to study about force. So, ano nga ba ang tinatawag nating force? Okay, so in science, force is simply a push or a pull on an object. Okay, so when I say push, sa Tagalog, tulak. Ang pull, sa Tagalog, ay hila. Okay, so yun ang tinatawag nating force. Okay, so a force can cause an object to accelerate slow down, remain in place, or change in shape. Okay, so when we apply force to something or to an object, so pwede siyang gagalaw, pwede siyang mag-slow down, pwede siyang mag-remain in place, or change in shape. So for example, when you crumple the paper, so di ba naiiba yung shape ng papel. Okay, so yun ang tinatawag nating force. Okay, so it's activity time. So to understand more about force, so let us perform this simple, very simple activity. Okay, so the activity, or the title of the activity is Contact and Non-Contact Forces. Okay, so our objective for this activity is to be able to understand the concept of contact and non-contact force. So what are the materials needed? So chair, paper, bag, and marble. Or if you don't have marble at home, so you can use ball, okay? Or any round object, okay? So procedures. So one is push a chair. Pull a paper out of your bag. Crumple the paper. Lift your bag. Then last one is roll the marble, then black it. Observe what will happen. So after performing this activity, so you are going to answer the different guide questions in this activity. Okay? So let us watch these short videos on how to perform the activity. And then at home, you can perform it with your siblings or other members of the family. Okay, in order for you to understand more about force or the contact and the non-contact forces. Okay, so let's just watch this video. Okay, so here are the guide questions for our activity. So after performing the activity, so please answer these guide questions. Okay, so let us proceed to the different types of forces. 
Okay, so one is friction. So friction is a force caused when one object rubs against another. It works in the opposite direction of the main force. So, pag sinabi natin friction, so it is the force caused when two objects or an object touch another object. Okay, so, for example, when you rub your hands, okay, so, it is an example of a friction. Okay, so, uh, for example, another example, your cell phone on a table so it has friction okay so yun ang tinatawag nating friction so sa madaling salita pag sinabi nating friction so pag ang dalawang object or ang isang object nakatat sa isang object or nagrub sa isang object yun ang tinatawag nating or nagkakaroon sila ng force na tinatawag na friction okay okay so next we have the air resistance force so, air resistance force is a force or friction between an object and the air. So, for example, ito sa parachute. Okay, so, so the air is in contact with the parachute and of course with the body of this cartoon character. So, pag sinabi natin air resistance force ay friction lang between the air and an objects. That is why, pag ginagamit natin yung parachute, so hindi agad-agad tayo nahuhulog pa baba because there is a force na pumipigil doon sa parachute para makababa or bumaba ng mabilis. Yun ang tinatawag nating air resistance force. Okay, so friction din siya kasi yung, yung air ay nakatouch doon sa parachute or sa object. Yun ang tinatawag nating air resistance force. Next, we have the gravity. So, gravity is an invisible force that pulls objects towards each other. Earth's gravity is what keeps you on the ground and what makes things fall. So, pag sinabi natin gravity, ito naman yung uh, force, invisible force nga daw, hindi nakikita, that pulls object towards each other. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng object merong gravity. Okay, so like our our planet so earth has gravity that keeps you on the ground so that is the reason why hindi tayo lumulutang and lahat ng bagay na itatapon natin um natin sa taas bumababa because of gravity okay next we have electromagnetic force so, electromagnetic force is a force associated with electric, kuryente, and magnetic fields. Okay. And nuclear force. So, nuclear forces are the forces that holds atoms and their particles together. Okay. Elastic. An elastic force is a force exerted by an object trying to return to its natural length. Okay, yung elastic force din, tinatawag din siya na spring force. Okay. Next, we have normal force. So, normal force is the support force exerted upon an object which is in contact with another stable object. So, for example, so yung box na sa table, so meron yung normal Force. When you say stable object, not moving. Okay, so halimbawa yung mga bagay na kalagay sa bahay ninyo, nakapatong lang sa isang bagay na hindi gumagalaw, mayroong force yun. Ang tawag doon ay normal force. Next, we have applied force. So applied force is a force applied by a living creature to an object. Okay, for example, you are pushing a chair. So that is an applied force. Tinutulak mo yung kalaro mo, that is applied force force okay so the different types of forces are classified or grouped into two the non-contact and the contact force so a non-contact force is a force which acts on an object without coming physically in contact with it so ibig sabihin hindi hinahawakan or hindi nagtatouch Okay, while a contact force is a force applied to a body by another body that is in contact with it. So, pag sinabi natin contact force, so kabaligtaran naman siya ng non-contact force. 
Okay, so examples of non-contact forces are gravitational or the gravity, nuclear, and electromagnetic force. Okay, so di ba, for example, yung gravity. So bakit siya tinawag na non-contact force? Kasi di ba, pag tinapon mo yung isang bagay, bumababa siya. And ang nagkakos nun is gravity. Wherein, ang gravity ay hindi naman nakatouch or nakakontact doon sa bagay na yun. For example, bola. Okay. Magnet. So, di ba? Pag may bakal, malayo yung bakal. Pero pag may magnet, napupul niya. So, yun ang tinatawag nating non-contact forces. While contact forces are frictional force or friction, normal force, elastic or spring force, Applied force and air resistance force. Okay, so I hope may natutunan kayo sa ating lesson ngayon. So to check if you learn from our lesson for today, so let's have our quiz. Okay. Okay. So you are going to identify what is being described in the following statements. So, you will be given five seconds for each question. Are you ready? Okay, so number one. Okay, next. Number two. Next, number three. Number four. And number five. Okay, so time is up. So let us check your answer. So here are the answers. Okay, so thank you for watching and please don't forget to support Sir Chris by subscribing on my channel ha please okay so just hit the subscribe button okay thank you and uh yun lang bye bye <laughs> okay